this is Lee, the video game short guy. Today is Tuesday, it's just a little past 6 a.m. and I figured I'm gonna make a video today where I'll just take you along with me for the day, or at least most of the day. Um, also, the message of this video, right now we are experiencing interesting times and you know there may be a lot of problems the thing is one of the things i found to be very true is that if you don't stay focused on the things that are important to you things that matter you can then allow those distractions to come in and take away your business you could come they could come in and take away uh, other things that are might be of importance so Right, whether it's the good times or the bad times, you have to maintain consistency over a long period of time. And unfortunately, and maybe I am wrong, I hope I am wrong, but I find it that a lot of people are now giving up. And I'm not talking about specifically for the video game truck business, but I mean, I think a lot of people are just losing a lot of the grit and a lot of the the work the the effort that needs to go in right um for example uh like if we're talking about let's say the current state of affairs of social media right social media is totally awesome if you use it for your business if you um you know if, if it helps you pursue your goals uh, but I think a lot of people are using social media wrong. Again, this is just as an example, right? Uh, I, I, as my wife calls it, it's the look at me Instagram uh, personification of something that isn't real, right? A lot of people are focused on many very like shallow elements instead of focusing on things that will actually allow you to run your business and i think in that again if we're talking specifically let's say just for social media's sake uh what it does is it distorts reality and instead of putting the time and the effort and understanding that hey you got to put in some hours into what you're doing right you have to and not only do you work sometimes a lot i mean like a lot a lot but a lot of times you don't even see the fruits of your labor for a long time right and in order to do that yes it's important to be a part of social media but i think the way a lot of people run it nowadays is very wrong right it, it, it's just that there's a lot of fakery that is happening today right and so it's very important for you to stay focused on your business on your actions on what you do and if you use let's say social media try not to portray what you do in a way that is fake in a way that is not real and i think we have way too much of that today happening right uh like there's for example let me give you an example when you are operating let's say your business if you are more concerned about the type of vehicle that you drive versus the practicality of your vehicle and how it functions for you to help you grow your business right make money for you right that's a problem meaning what meaning you don't need the fanciest stuff in the world you could get a truck or a suv that's 10 15 years old if it does the job for you if it does the job for you and you hook it up to your trailer right you work you hustle it will still deliver you money a paycheck nothing glamorous about that but if you were spending your time fruitlessly to put things that are not real and you spend money on things that are not investing into you but are investing into a false persona or false image of you 
so that people look at you on the internet and be like, whoa, who's this person, right? If you're chasing likes, that's not how you run a business, right? Having a strategy to market your business, understanding what you're doing, driving sales. Yes, that's part of social media. That's important. But a lot of people confuse that with trying to paint themselves and make it all about themselves, right? A lot of people, or let me rephrase that, the majority of people don't care, right? The majority of people want is to see what you can provide for them, what you can do, right? Super important. And if you can't provide something of value, if you promote yourself, but you don't deliver anything, right? That is a distraction. That is not how you focus. That is not how you grow your business. All right. So today I'm going to take you, I'll just take you with me on my day, my work. Oh, that's cool. So I love walking in the morning um, in my neighborhood because we have a lot of wild parrots and it's really cool. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a fire at a pet shop and a lot of parrots got away. <laughs> sweeping up and cleaning the bay. I'm gonna have to do a 120 mile round trip today in total. I'm gonna bring another trailer here and this is where I'm gonna finish the wiring. So what I do is I, I mark off how, uh, how much room I need and then I push everything back. So that's my, uh, my welding unit. It's a little experimental trailer over there, uh, office. So anyhow, um, yeah, it's gonna be a super fun day today. And uh, a couple of videos, I'll, maybe like two or three videos ago, I did a, uh, an experimental trailer. So here are some pictures, check it out. Just met up with the client, picked up the rest of the money that was owed on a little experimental trailer. Um, got some cash, super cool. Uh, nothing fancy, but uh, every little bit accumulates, helps, and makes the world go round. <laughs> uh, Got to now head down to the gas station. I'm at about half half tank, so uh, today is the 12th of May. Let's see what the damage is going to be for about half a tank of gas. Regular plus premium. Yeah, it's California. California prices for you. So, 14 gallons, $61.15. Apparently, I needed more than half a tank. Graphics guy should be on location. He just needs to put up, put some final touches onto the uh, the vinyl. Uh, yeah, so put up the TVs, uh, get the electronics all squared away, and then haul it back, and uh, hopefully have it all done back to the location that I was cleaning today uh, before 5 p.m. So if there are events that unfold today that are out of my control uh, and it's going to really suck if I have to take this thing back after even 3 p.m. because when traffic starts that's like a good 90 minute to two hour drive like minimum with the traffic and the trailer. But if it's done before that, I could probably get it back on location within about an hour. Uh, one of the reasons our lo manufacturing location, so we have a manufacturing location, and then we have a storage location with uh, another location uh, right by where I live now. And basically that's so that if there's something that I can do and I don't have to travel uh, 120 miles in one day to go to the manufacturing facility, I'll try to do it locally by my house. Um, but the reason we got out so far to manufacture is because the rent is better and uh, there are certain things about certain counties and cities that make work more favorable when you're in manufacturing. 
makes things easier. Uh, when we were looking for a location by, by where I live in uh, Orange County, California, uh, some cities were giving us a very hard time, very hard time. Uh, they wanted a lot of money up front uh, just to consider and see if they would allow the manufacturing to go in just for approval. Uh, so there's definitely been a lot of uh, barriers that needed to be crossed in order to find the right location to manufacture. And it's really interesting because right now, the building of trailers, it's um, like, like a lot of cities just won't work with you. A lot of landlords won't work with you. Uh, so you have to like troubleshoot a lot of these things, but if you know how the process works, it's in your favor because if you make the mistake of signing a lease somewhere, but then the city doesn't allow it, right? Or the county doesn't allow it and you're stuck on the hook with the lease and you can't really do what you're supposed to do, right? Cause they don't allow it. So don't make the mistake of, of signing a lease somewhere if you are doing more than just video game truck. But I really like this Orange County location as it allows me to do some small projects where all the big projects are done in San Bernardino County. And it allows me to at least store trailers for clients so that when a client comes out, I could train them uh, out of the location and they don't have to go out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, originally, we were training people in Orange County Okay, so for those of you who don't know where Orange County is, uh, it's like 30 miles south, southeast of Los Angeles. That's where we originally did all the training. Then we moved it up to San Bernardino, and now we brought it back to Orange County. Uh, but yeah, definitely not a fun experience when you're trying to start something in the manufacturing center and the city or the county uh, is making you jump through hurdles, right? But I understand why it is the way it is. It's it's the way it is the way it is. But yeah, I just thought you might find that interesting. <laughs> Before we get the uh, uh, the seats in for the platforms for racing and for flight, we got to find a way to bring it from another building. And right now, the only way to do it is put it on a dolly. You got to take a generator off. Predator. Simulation seat. This is it right here. Um, we've tried many different companies. Uh, I forgot what it's called off the top of my head. I apologize, but there's just the place where we order them over and over and over. But this right here, totally awesome. Uh, it can work for either a flight simulator or for um, for the, the driving simulator. Let's get this thing loaded up. And uh, once we get it loaded up, we gotta put it on the trailer.
I hope I don't hit traffic on the way back. Uh, but super productive day. I mean, just after I take this trailer back and park it, uh, either tomorrow or the day after, I'm just gonna finalize installing and troubleshooting some uh, some systems. And then that is it. It is ready to rock and roll. Uh, so this trailer came out very, very nice. It is 4.30 p.m. So it just got back. This is now in the bay. So basically tomorrow, I'm going to come in, install electronics, uh, maybe clean it up a little bit more, and then I'll be ready to go and rock and roll. So, yep. There it is. I'll make another video probably tomorrow about just installing some stuff, trying some games out. Uh, yeah, if you are interested in getting into the business, uh, go ahead and contact me or go to virtualrealitygametrick.com. You could always uh, reach out to my cell phone. Uh, please send the text first and then I'll call you back. Or if you call, just leave a message with your telephone number. But yeah, everyone, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me on my day today. That's sort of what it looks like uh, most of the time. Now, my day isn't really over. I still have to go back home and do emails and marketing and stuff like that. But that's like the boring stuff that I don't really know how to record that, that well, I guess. So we're just sticking to the trailer stuff. Okay, everyone. So you have a super awesome morning, night, day, wherever it is that you are. And uh, yeah, stay safe.